Hello guys, Dr. Base here. Um, I wish you a Merry Christmas. And um, well, today I have something very interesting to show you. Uh, this is a new acquisition that I made, uh, which is the, uh, an electronic load. This one, this is a Manuo uh, M9714. Um, it is uh, capable of 0 to 150 watt and 1200 watt total power. But what is very interesting on this one is that it's capable of uh, current as uh, high as uh, 240 amp. So that is excellent for a um, very uh, hard test on lithium ion battery. So I bought this one at a great price, however it had a problem. And uh, well the problem was described as um, not stable in the constant resistance mode. However, when I got it, I discovered that the only mode that is working but not properly is the constant resistance mode. The constant current, constant voltage and other mode have a problem. And um, I will describe this problem with you and uh, I will show you what I think is the uh, cause of that problem. So if you want, keep watching the video, I will show you some more details. So, I also bought this uh, very nice power supply, which is a 60 volt, 16 amp uh, switching. You can see the size, I don't have a banana, but you see this is a very compact, great quality BK Precision. And now, electronic load, uh, I'm not sure if you are all familiar with that are um, something that uh, you can use for testing a battery, uh, testing power supply, things, testing various sources, and you can set the, uh, these are uh, maximum current, maximum voltage, maximum power, and maximum resistance. And you can also use the software and uh, communicate with it and have uh, different sequences, uh, different uh, uh, curve um, for uh, long-term tests. On this one, what I discovered is that, uh, well, uh, let me show you the, the, the problem on this one. Okay, just hope the focus is uh, better. We'll redo the focus. All right, okay. If I set it to 10 amp, okay, the set current is 10 amp, and I press enter, it showed 10 amp request but the actual 10 amp is in reality 16 amp so I'm drawing 16 amp actually so the command and the result are not the same so it goes to the maximum it's not when I call 10 amp it goes to 16 when I call 10 amp it goes like short or something like that and you see it draw only 1.8 watt what I thought first was that this electronic load uh, uh, could be uh, short because I call the current and it will uh, go to the maximum current of the source. Fortunately, I'm not, I did not connect to the battery on this one, otherwise I will have blown something. So here's uh, what I think. If I go into resistance mode, I will call 8 ohm enter and you see I called 8 ohm and the voltage is 16 volt and the current is 16 amp which means the value that is resulting is 1 ohm not 8 so the difference between both is 8 and I'm wondering if that device is uh, controlled by a processor and a digital to analog or analog to digital converter. And if the value that I call is eight time, uh, uh, g give a result uh, eight time lower, which means that the bit that uh, the, the have the value of uh, eight will be the four, the bit number three, I think. So it's uh, two, four, eight the bit number 3 or the bit number 4 uh, uh, that could be broken on the PCB or the DAC with the bit 8 could, uh, the bit number 4 
or three could have a problem. So that's why I get an error of factor of eight. You see? If I call 16 ohm, 16, enter, I'm getting exactly twice that value. I get 2 ohm. So I called 8 ohm and I got 1 ohm. I called 16 ohm and I got uh, 2 ohm. 32 volt, 16 ohm. That is very curious. Which means that if I can solve that problem, which will be uh, somewhere between the processor or the DAC or something like that, I could be able to repair that one because actually it's giving the right current value so the shunt is okay you see so here's what I will do I will open it and I will show you what's inside okay guys so I've opened it for you you see so this is the uh, very very big shunt you see the positive input this is a dual input because it's capable of 240 amps you see here positive going there going to this bus right here which all those four modules connect their positive to this bus here and the negative which is this input here goes to the shunt which is in fact multiple shunt in parallel so I guess that the resistance of that shunt is quite high uh, for higher precision to get more uh, voltage drop here. Um, that's my tile instead of having a very big shunt uh, with low resistance. And you see that the negative continue after the shunt and goes to this bus here, which all those negative connect to it. So you see, those are four modules for a total of 1200 watt, which means that those modules are in fact 300 watt, which I think the smaller uh, manual uh, model, which are the 300 watt, uh, are made of only one module like that. And if we see here, you see there is a, mo uh, there is a model, which is 9713, Probably, well, that's what I guess. So, all those modules have some connections here. Oh, focus, you better be able to see better. Okay, yeah. You see, 5 volt minus 12 volt, sense positive, ground sense negative, 12 volt. So, all those communications goes to this bus here and all four modules connect to this one so all four have probably uh, will uh, share the uh, load and share the current and uh, their information regarding the sensing voltage and these things probably goes there what I think I will have to search for is a multi-pin chip for higher uh, bit uh, higher digital precision. Um, not sure how many bits this one is, but uh, if the factor uh, that I got, that I get here is a factor of eight, and precisely eight, not seven, not thirteen, but eight, it's very similar to a digital value, a digital bit that is missing somewhere. So I will search for that and give you more uh, update about that, guys. So you see it's uh, pretty clean. I have the communication here for uh, remote access with the uh, great software. You see uh, the BNC here is not connected, but this one is. This is an output and this is an input. So this one probably don't have all the options possible. So that's all for today, guys. I will uh, keep you update and uh, I hope you appreciated this uh, video. So, just to uh, remember, this is the manual M9714-1200 watt. So, again, thanks for watching, guys. This is Dr. Base here, and I wish you a Merry Christmas to all. Bye-bye.